Hello guys, we are headed down to Reston to go cut a friend's hair and do some elevators. Yes. And as long as you guys don't drop in the elevator, we'll be through it all oh, together. They're, oh, they're coming with us for the elevator. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. We're doing the FM Global building, I think. And you know where that is? Yeah, it's on the way to his house. Oh, okay. There's a lot of stuff on the way to his house, but you know. It's the brown building on the right before we turn down, I think, whatever that bigger street is before we get to his place. Where is it? Because we go Reston Parkway to Glade. I know it's not on Glade. Are we going via the um, toll road? Uh, we could. Yes, please. Hello, everybody. Yeah, and it looks like it's about to storm. Eh, over there, it looks like it's going to storm. Yeah, well, ahead we're of not us, facing ahead of us, it. It just looks gloomy. Look to the left, to the right, I mean. Yeah, well, we're going to be trees in the way now. Trees, yeah. Yeah. And that's the public safety training facility. And there's, and there's some Breda cars over there, too. Yep. 4021 and 4020. Oh, yeah. Can't really see them, but they're just over that ridge. Cars that I have operated before. Yeah, there's, uh, because of how hot it's been, it cracked over 100 at BWI, um, what was it, yesterday or the day before? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it was the first over 100 degree day that we've had since 2016. It's been that long? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. We've had a rather mild... Yeah, we've had a few mild summers, that's true. Yes, both of us have been on the Silver Line. In fact, this thing has operated the Silver oh, Line. Yes. Oh, yes. And, um, yes, we will be going by the Phase 2 stations. No, we won't. If we do the, the no, tour. Mm -mm. What are you if talking about? We want to go to Taco Bell. We're getting more of a wheelie. And so, uh, I want to go by the new stations. Well, we're not. What is he doing? He is uh, scooping up. He the was work. dancing though. Oh yeah, he was having a good time. Hello, elevators rock on. But yeah, basically, I'm the one who, up until the end, until Memorial Day weekend, would say, "Good evening. This is your Silver Line train to Largo Town Center by way of downtown Washington D.C. The next station is Spring Hill." Yep. He's your orange and silver boy, but currently a, I'm a blue and yellow boy. And on yeah. Friday, I'm on the blue line. If anybody wants to come to come to Washington, <laughs> I do revenue-wise, I do a round trip and three quarters. Because I do a full round trip on the blue line, and then I do a uh, I do a trip across back to Largo. Then I go out of service and I do the do the Roslyn meat train. So I got to dump you at uh, at Largo, and then I pick up again at. Uh, I pick up again at, at King uh, Street. No, Roslyn. Because I usually get you down on the southern half of that. Oh yeah, you get me down in, in the south. Wait, what? The Sheridan and Tyson closed down? Huh? When did that happen? As in, as in went out of business or... Or they just closed because the... Closed. Yeah, that, that matters. Because a lot of hotels closed, like Holiday Inn. God, this road's bumpy. Closed. That's because they're working on it. What do you expect? They've cut so many holes, and it's not like Georgia Avenue where, you know, where they finished Oh my gosh, and... that was so sad. They made a beautifully smooth Georgia Avenue. A week later, WSSC. WSSC started cutting into it <laughs> to replace water mains. And I'm like, oh gosh, man. we but had such a beautiful. Was... Avenue. I know, it's like, you know, you'd think they. That's our old home. Stuff. Uh, by the way, yes, short. Avenue's where we used to live. And it still feels more home than it does out here, yeah, but. I'm used to it out here now. Yeah, it doesn't mean I like it. Yeah, you know. Why did I disconnect? I don't know. Well, that, that was weird. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. I think we all missed the roars. The 1000s were great cars. Oh yeah, 1000s were good. Were good cars. Not very crash worthy, but if, if you don't mind dying in a in a train wreck, <laughs> they're great cars. And didn't they have different types of brake? What do you mean? Oh yeah, they had hydraulic brakes, not uh, not pneumatic brakes. Because you know how the roars would not would not go when they take off. That's because their brake cylinders used um, use use fluid instead of air. You you know. 
So they're juicy boys. Yeah, they use oil, I believe, instead of air. So, yeah. And yeah, now you can see some of the clouds behind these trees. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. And then, of course... I'll forego Taco Bell. Why? Because I'd rather show them the Phase 2 stations. You realize the most you're going to get to is the next station, so you're going to get to see whatever rest in town center and I turn off anyway. So, no, get your Taco Bell, because I don't want to hear you complain later. Uh, I also like the Bechtel building. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I mean, I still got to go by that. The Bechtel building is just a building that I like. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a, it's just a nice looking building. Uh, I think it's more so I like the Bechtel logo. Oh, yeah. At first I thought that was the, the earth on fire. Then I realized, no, that's the, uh, you're supposed to look at it the other way. I thought it was flames. No, it is a map of the earth. I, it kind of looks like a turkey. <laughs> no, that is Sherwin Williams. It looks like a turkey with a bucket on its head. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, what am I doing here, and why is this bucket on my head? You're still in pain, that's what. That's why, that's right. Why am I wearing a bucket on my head, though? That's the question. Mm, to protect you from paint? I don't know. Well, you're not protecting you when you're delivering the paint. <laughs> Since he had paint falling all down his, anyway, all down his body. He says, what are turkeys but a, but a big meatball with a, uh, <laughs> but a big meatball with feathers and a head? Okay, I have a weird mental image of, like, a cooked meatball with, with like, feathers on it. Well, you know. <laughs> That's a lot of cones. Yes, indeed. Yeah. You know. Uh, traffic is definitely picking up. Not to normal DC levels, but it's certainly... More than it was in, like, say, April. Yeah. As people are realizing, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. And then, of course, you got these other, these doomers who are like, who are, who are who are like, what? You mean they decided the pandemic was over because they were tired of it? Yes. Because this was nonsense to begin with. Anyway. Ooh. <sighs> Well, we get a good view of the storm. Yeah, we get a good view. As we wait, good, I'd rather have a good view of the storm not sitting at a red light. Though. Well, couldn't we go that way and just no? Because you see, I get I get on two seventy. Yeah, well, we can do it the other way. Yeah, I'm not doing it that way because you see, there are like five lights this way, and this is my last light, so I get to rest in if I turn. Yeah. By the way, this is the Grove of Shade, as I call it. We're at Shady Grove. You know, this is Shady Grove. When you're near Shady Grove Station. If you go to the next light and you make a left, you end up at the Metro. And hence that... Uh, that M right there up yep. there that says Metro, you know? That's why. We don't normally film this close to the house. Because <laughs> no, normally we we're already in Frederick. We started where we started. We started when we were leaving Picton, didn't we? Yes, we did. So if any of you want to figure out where we live, you know, I mean, <laughs> I kind of said part of it and then... You know, if you want to backtrack the video, just remember, if you're, if you remember, Melissa does not live here anymore, so if you're sending bombs, we didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yes, we didn't tell you. Um, Melissa, Marley, and their little, uh, thing. That, They're gone. Yes, exactly. I'm, we are delighted. Yes, we are delighted. Things have gone back to normal at the house, and everything is all good. We are back to good. Actually, no, we're getting back to good, because we're cleaning and repairing now. So, yes, we're getting back to good, everybody. Uh, there's actually, um, what was that hotel down by Matthew again that had the, all those hot in elevators? The, I know where it is. I yeah, I know where it is. I can't think of the name. It's is not it? the Sheraton. I know that. No. It's, it's the Hyatt, isn't it? It might. It might. I don't know. If I'm going to Taco Bell, we'll, we'll be nearby. Yeah, they, they have Houghton. Yeah. Their parking garages nice are. Truck. Their parking garages are hotting. Their main elevators are hotting. And they their have nice service have, elevators are hotting. And they have nice seats in the lobby. Although my thing is, if you have a visual impairment, like you know, both Kyle and I do, like there's these sets of steps there that don't look like steps, uh -oh. and well. Uh oh! What happened? Uh, no, I was using a cane that day, and oh, I'm like, okay. I found you. 
but yeah. yeah. Do not look like that. These are some fun looking clouds here. Oh yeah, the, that looks like a Q-tip. Kind of. Oh, by the way, speaking of Q-tips, remember how you wouldn't let me uh, have some of your Q-tips? You stole some. No, I did not. I bought some bamboo Q-tips oh. from Amazon. I bought like a thousand bamboo Q-tips. Uh, yeah, well, that my package was a thousand some odd Q-tips. Oh yeah, but mine look cool because mine are round. Mine packages are mine. I got two round packages of five hundred with bamboo. Oh, that's cool that you hit eight hundred subs. And yes, I have had long hair at one point. I uh, when I was rather depressed back in middle school. Long hair didn't didn't look bad on you. I've seen the photos, but you know what? It was. I didn't really enjoy it. I was gonna, well, what I was going to say is, you know what? It didn't look bad on you, but it's not you. But other than that, most of my life I've had it short. Yeah, well, you had it as a kid too. You had those. Well, those cute little photos, like where you. Know, yeah, when I was like under five. You know, you were a little older than that, weren't you? No. No. Okay. Six is when I'm like, uh, uh, nope. Oh, okay. Well, yes, you look cute with, as a child with the long hair. Now, me, I never had long hair. Uh, Jokester Dude says, Ben, do you miss filming the Metro? I watch a lot of your 2006-2003 Metro videos. What, what says I don't? Still film it. <laughs> I still photograph the Metro all the time. You know, it's just that when I'm wearing a uniform, it's obvious I can't take a foamer photo like I used to, but, you know. Uh, that hasn't stopped you from... That hasn't stopped me from filming when I'm off duty, though. So, I mean, you know... So, yeah, I mean, I'm off duty. They're not, they're not saying a word to me, you know? And that's when they say, oh, hey, operator so-and-so, yeah, I'm foaming. How you like that? Yeah, this cloud is looking menacing. That cloud behind, the, there's the really dark, and then there's that one that looks kind of like a like, weird blue color behind it. It's like, what is that? It's like a greenish blue. Yeah. Either way, that's going to be fun, because we're going to make a left turn right up here and get on. Ooh. Ooh. That was cool. That was some good lightning. That was good lightning. This might be a fun live stream. Might be a fun live stream. And here is uh, TKE fan. Here is a weird uh, road for 370. We're about to leave it though. 370 is a spur of yeah, a spur. The end, there's the end sign. No, it's a spur of a loop. <laughs> well, because would 270 you, is, a, is a loop. It's technically considered a loop. So 270 is a loop of 70, yet yes. 370 is a... Basically, if we're going to get really... It's an auxiliary route of an auxiliary route. <laughs> it's a really strange one. I mean, the thing is... The thing is, keeping the interstate designation at this point... Most of them... Because 370 was extended as Maryland 200. Damn, that's dark. Was extended as Maryland Route 200, the intercounty connection. And so, I mean, you could get away with... And calling that part 200. Calling the whole thing State Route 200. Oh, and, and making, look how light it is over here. Oh, yeah. And making 370 unsigned. An unsigned interstate. Although, preferably, what I would do would, is I would extend the 370 designation all the way to Laurel. And, um... And this is Mainline 270. Oh, this is the, well, we're going into Mainline 270. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's the collector distributor. This is Mainline 270. Yeah. Local lanes? Express. Well, local express. Local collector distributor lanes and Mainline. Because it's not like the New Jersey Turnpike with the dual dual configuration. <laughs> You guys in that Lenny face. Meanwhile, I should probably set the uh, cruise control before you go speed. Oh yeah, because I'm because I need to because I gotta remember I need to be not going towards work. Well, no, actually I am going towards work to an extent. I to to an extent, off, just I gotta not... get off at uh, 267 instead of you know instead of going all the way to Eisenhower Avenue. Our TKE fan says, "How many miles are on the herve?" Uh, let's see here. We are at 53,747 miles. So the Herb is doing well. We are well past the halfway mark on the soul's total mileage. Yeah, in less time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Because you remember the soul. Soul took nine, you know, six it years, took, to, get took six years to get ninety thousand. Six years to get ninety-one thousand miles. The herb, on the other hand, we have already we have already taken this thing to Canada. We were, well, no, I was gonna, I was gonna. We've taken it out to Morgantown. We've taken it to to Toronto. We've taken it to upstate New York. We've taken it to not to the Outer Banks. We've taken it to North Carolina, apparently. But yeah, we've taken a lot of trips with the herb. Whereas the soul did not go on nearly as many trips. No, we haven't had any issues. The only weird thing is, well, because Ben is bigger, he uh, broke a little piece of plastic on the side of his uh, I might, seat. I might, I might add that but it was fixed. Oh, yeah, and then you broke it again. Huh? You yanked me down onto it and it broke again. Huh? Yeah, this is at the Home Depot in Gaithersburg. I don't remember this. Yeah, well, yeah, I, 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 would, I, would, I would try to forget that too if I were you. <laughs> no, I'm like genuine, like what? But yeah, I'm not fixing it this time because you know why? Because it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So I mean, a little piece of insignificant plastic, you know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But yeah, we've taken the herb on more road trips than uh, we took the soul on. <laughs> and TKU fans says, and it hasn't caught fire, so that's good. That is cool. This didn't catch fire till ninety thousand miles. Are we back, by the way? No. Oh, okay. I can only see comments that stream in. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know why I'm buffering. Eh, who knows. Oh, the lights are on on that, on the sign over there. On the Stein Sperling? Yep. And we're waiting for it to stop buffering. And the only thing we have to fear is, is buffering. 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 Well, yeah, I don't know if I'm actually buffering, but um, it, the thing is squiggling on my screen like it is buffering. But yeah, no, these are my vents. I have them organized in a such a way. And then backseat people, they don't get to breathe. No, they don't. They but don't the thing is, air. it has a thermostat. You can set it at 70, mm -hmm. and it will do its thing. Yes. Which is beautiful. Oh, and there's a Cruise America RV. You know what the thing about Cruise America is? Look over there. Cruise America, the thing about them is they have their local local RVs. And they have RVs, but they're truck style RVs. Whereas I want a class A RV. I want a BUS bus. Mm -hmm. I don't want some truck with a big hood in front. I want to drive I want to drive a class A 40 footer. I want to drive a bus. I think we just need to take him to Roanoke to go to the bus barn. Take whom to Roanoke? You. Oh, me? Yeah, and... I had to see the new bus barn. And, like take usual... That, take, take, take an Orion 5 for us. We're doing the HOV exit for um, 495 South. Yes, we are. Which is, like, among the best way to get to it. <laughs> well, it's, it's a way to end up on the left. And look at those scattered cones. Uh, Poor yeah. fellas. Although they, pay, although they pave the whole thing, so that looks good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Do your part, wear a mask, stay 6T apart. Ep, social distance, something as the... Uh, social distance was another one. Yeah, they changed. Piestian. Yeah, that sign was how we got, look for, P watch for Piestians. <laughs> It's supposed to say p What is it? Only when you're peeing. Gotta use the piestian. So the, you're a urinal with piestian as well. Yes. <laughs> Too so, bad Wumi's not with us. I know. Oh, you know what? We're seeing Matthew. He wanted to meet Wumi. Darn. Yeah, I know. That cloud up there looks like a dolphin. Quite a bit. Kind of. I thought it looked kind of like Newfoundland, but you know. <laughs> of course he would say that. Well, it does look like Newfoundland. Part of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Used to be just Newfoundland. Now it's Newfoundland and Labrador. They changed the name. Anyway. Oh yeah, this has been one hell of a year. Yes, it has. Yeah, well, we're not heading to Ocean City today. No. Why would we? Well, I... Mohammed said there's a new hotel that opened. Oh, Was it the, cool. um... 
what street did it open on? Oh, bus. Oh, being towed. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we live like three and a half hours from Ocean City. Oh, yeah, well, not three and a half, two and a half. It, it depends. Because yeah, it, 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 it depends on the traffic on the Bay Bridge. Yeah, I mean, if you get, the, get in there on, um, what is, oh, there's a Shockley car. Which is also where Timothy came from. Yeah, that's where the herd came from. Shockley up in Frederick. We were up there a couple weeks ago. Nice people. It's like our service advisor this time was Joe Sheedy, right? Who, if you ever see Milton from Office Space, he kind of reminds me of Milton a little bit, doesn't he? Mm. But anyway, so Joe Sheedy, right? He's like, you know, they're all supposed to be wearing their masks, right? He's sitting in there, you know, and says, okay, you're ready. Call says, you're ready. Okay, great. And then, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. And then he comes in and doesn't have his mask on when he comes in. And he's like putting it on. I'm like, we know. We know better. You don't have to put that thing on around us. You know, because it's clear he's not buying it. He's only doing it because he has to. But, you know. Yeah, asymptomatic people are rarely contagious. Basically. Yeah, so it's like, whatever. I'm not wearing I'm not wearing it. And I mean, really, if you don't feel well, you need to stay home anyway. Yeah, if you don't feel well, stay home. <laughs> That's a rule of thumb for anything. Yeah, pretty much. That's like at Metro, my uh, call-out threshold is a lot lower than it was at other jobs. Yeah, because you have the life of others in your hand, oh, yeah, basically. I have the life of plenty of others. That was like when I was. That's like that one time when I was not feeling well because I'd eaten something funny, and um, what I did as soon as I realized that we're not doing very well at all, you know what? I'm like, okay, you got to get me off this train. You know, yeah, and like, then you threw up in the parking lot. Oh no, I threw up. You no, know, I threw up in the bus loop. I didn't even. I made it. I made it to the herb. I, you know, I parked in the bus loop at West Falls Church for the. Um, I parked in the West Falls Church bus loop because I was too lazy to walk up to the station. And I got to the herb, sat down in the herb, and then I went, oh, got up out of the herb, stood there. Bleh, Eggs and oatmeal, man. Oh, I'll tell you, that shit went right up. Ooh, that was nice. That was nasty. And then, of course, I got home, right? I got home. And then, you know, got all the way home. I'm not and feeling well. And threw up again. Home. And will you let me tell the story? So I got all the way upstairs. Got in, got upstairs, and I'm standing over the sink. Bleh, bleh. Everything came out. And then I just, like, yeah, and, uh, the got thing... into bed and, like, died. <laughs> and, uh... A few weeks ago, when I was cleaning out sinks, uh, that was with not a few weeks ago, that was a few months ago. I, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Yes, it does. It was not a few weeks ago that we we did that a, a long time ago. In any case, she pulled up some of the stuff I vomited up back. In, yeah. Back last year. Yeah, exactly. I was in there with a snake, declogging it, and all I I came up with all this uh, nasty Ben chunks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And well, oh my got, gosh, go the somewhere. scent was horrible. Well, yeah, I mean, it partially digested eggs. Uh, that were like months and months and months it old. They've been in there for months, yeah. Ew. Well, you know, you love, love me, love my puke, you know? <laughs> I love you, but not that, because oh, okay. that was gross. Well, that was cool. Yes, it was. Paving on GB Parkway, okay. The Guam. Called the, it's called the Guamp, yo. To the guump, to the guump, to the guump, guump, guump. Yes, to the guump, to the guump, to the guump, guump, guump. Or the kabump. The kabump is the, uh, we passed that. Claire Barton. Yeah, we passed that. No, actually, that is the exit, isn't it? No, we passed it because that's Cab and John Parkways to get to Claire Barton. Yes. And over the Legion Bridge we go. Yes, indeed. Now I gotta start moving my way to the right, don't I? And I saw lightning to the right. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go towards the lightning. We're not going to the clock today. Nope. And there's the Potomac. There it is. Yes, it did. Whoa, that was some wind. Did you feel that? That yeah. me over a little bit. And sorry, guys, I just got interrupted by a tornado warning. Oh, fun. Where is the tornado? Uh. Or was that it that we just got blown by? I don't know because I didn't read it because it interrupted the stream. Oh, really? Are we still on? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, look on my phone. Well, you did not get it. You just have Patrick Matthew. Oh, okay. 
Because don't you have EAS off? I know, I have severe weather I have turned on. And we're slowing down. Why are we slowing down? Oh, Jokester, who's also from our area, uh -huh. um, more so by our house, I would say, because if his home station is Shady Grove, you know. You realize Caroline and Whitney, who went out in Martinsburg, their home station is Shady Grove. Yeah, either way, he's closer to us. Anyway, he said he did, he got a flood warning. Oh, okay. Ooh, like and a truck using it engine braking yep. I absolutely do not like engine braking because it makes a horrible noise well, so do you in the morning so what's it to you so do you <laughs> you roll over and fart yes I do I mean you make you make some you make you're some, a gassy bear in the morning you make some noises yourself there so I mean you know I mean, I think we all wake up, fart, and then Everybody go wakes back. Up and fart. This is like, it's like, I don't know what it is. I could go all day at work. I'm bouncing up and down. You think that would be enough for gases to move through me? You know? And, and then as soon as you get home. It's like, I don't fart at work all day, right? And then I'll get and then I'll get home, and all I'm doing is, and I'm doing that laughing <laughs> right all over the place. I'm doing it in the living room. I'm doing it in the bedroom. I'm doing it in the bathroom. I'm doing it in every room. And I'm doing these big, long, these big, long farts. <laughs> Killing me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, that's half the fun is, you know, is killing you with, you know, with my own fumes, you know? You stinky Pete. Yeah, well, you know. At least you know I'm farting. Because like they say, the average human farts so many times a day, and it's like, yep, got it. Yeah, then there's you. But it's like, yeah, my, my body only waits till it gets home, and then it decides to let, it, to <laughs> let all the fumes out. <laughs> Much to Elisa's uh, delight. Yes. Ooh, more lightning. Yeah. I looked like it was above us, what didn't it? Yes, it did. All I know is, it's like 267 West, that's us. Yep. With these easy pass signs. Oh, I can turn this down now, can I? I mean, we're kind of crawling. Oh, that's easy pass only. The hell with that, I don't need easy pass only. Because I'm going to the toll road, I don't need to go to the toll lanes. I like the electronic signage. Oh yeah. Although it's 590 right now to go all the way to 95. Mm -hmm. Ooh, more lightning. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's bad weather. Is it just me, or do you guys also like the noise that the EAS alerts make on your phone? I like that weird shrill I noise. I think it's funny that they use that version. That is not the EAS noise, by the way. The EAS noise is. I like the EBS noise as well. See, what you're thinking of is the EBS noise, which predates the EAS noise. This is yes. back, back when I was You a do kid. realize I lived through EBS as well. Not really. Yes, because EAS happened in 99 or somewhere Not around there. That. No, case. it didn't, because I lived through it. Ah. Well, anyway, in any case. Hey, you didn't live through Conrad. No, I did not. Conrad, by the way, predates the EBS. Yeah. Reduce speed in rain. Oh, good. No, no, no Corona propaganda. Reduce speed in rain. Oh yeah, no. That we are definitely in the midst of a storm, and it is most definitely lightning. But anyway, so yeah, the emergency. That was. I remember you would have these little tests. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only yeah, and it was a, a blue screen. You know. The sound you have just that you just heard, or no, this concludes the test of the emergency broadcast system. The sound you have just heard, if it were a real emergency, would be accompanied by, you know, instructions for all these different things. And this is my exit. Yes, it is. It's kind of hard to see. And it's like, you know, the joke was, if this had been a real emergency, it would have sounded like this. Ah! You can barely see the Capital One Tower. Eh, if I turn on the wipers like I mean it, you can see it better. Eh, not really. I not mean, on yeah, the stream. It's kind of fogged. The lights are off on the top of that. That's so weird to see that off. No, actually, well, it's during the day. I guess they don't come on until the night. Oh. There's apparently an observation tower floor in that um, Capital One building. Yeah, I think I know where it is, but, you know. Yeah, I've been wanting to go there because apparently, you know, they don't mind, apparently. Ah. Yeah, I'd love to photograph from there. But you know what? It's on my photograph, photography list, but you know. 
that is one of those ones that I'm not doing until the Rona is over. Then, in any case, is this some rain I don't want to get out for? All I know is. I need to get over a little bit because I need to, I want to get over to the easy pass lane so that way I don't have to deal with a toll collector. Not all these idiots with their blinkies on. Well, it's kind of also hard to see. Yeah, well, you don't have to, all you got to do is hold a camera and film. I'm driving. This is like sheets and sheets of rain. That's just for redders of rain, but you know. Mm. What about wawas of rain? Wawa is alright too. But redders does have a, is definitely, you know. I like redders. We like all of them. Oh, yeah. Jeez, this is a lot of rain. This is a lot of rain. I kind of regret watering my plants this morning. Eh, you know what? Think about it this way. I don't mind if you use my water to water the plants because, you know what? Because that is because you're creating creating new life with that, you know? And, you know. Hammer and mop. Yeah. Not like a, uh, you know, not like when certain other people are using my water, you know, and running up my hill. And here we go through the easy pass lanes. Oh yeah. And I'm actually going the speed the speed limit. Because it's 35 through here technically. And you know what? Ask me, that was not lightning by the way. That was That the, uh, was the infrared. That was not infrared, that was a flash. They do uh pay by plate they as do, well. They do pay by plate as well as uh easy pass. And I see emergency vehicles on the left. Oh yeah. Stop and write somebody's ticket. Considering uh, it's Virginia, probably. Yeah. Although, really, anybody who goes the speed limit, even the speed limit right now, probably not advisable. Because, you know. Oh, and there's the Silver Line, by the way. With Silver Line? I know Donna's going to have to take a shuttle bus right now. Then you always got to wonder did Donna work in. Did Donna work in. Work in Reston and live was looking for a job in Reston. And By the way, here's our easy Reston. pass. Or did or did Donna live in Reston and finally was able to get a job in DC because she could get there now? Who knows? Yeah, I know. That's the question that's going to keep us up at night. Because you know Donna just graduated college and is working for, for a boss who calls her Dana. Who calls her Dana. But with Silver Line, still have access to thousands of great jobs. Look alive, Donna. Good times are ahead. Oh man, that sucks. What? Med City Elevators is well. Uh, I had to replace a screen protector, and I dropped the replacement one and cracked the replacement. Ah, that sucks. That was a big boomer. Oh yeah, that was a big boomer. I saw the lightning, you know, and it's like, because usually, you know, you can't hear thunder in the car because of everything else going on in the car. But, you know, I heard that, and that was, that was something. We'll see you, Steel City. Where are they going? You just said bye. Oh, okay. Soft poodles. This is quite the storm. Yeah, this is quite the storm. Isn't this a pizza? And are those the shuttle buses? That is the Loudon. Loudon, Loudon Transit. Oh, they're, they're deadheading. They're, they're just chilling. They're just sitting like, I'm not doing it like that. No. Ooh, that lightning. Oh, yeah. Too bad it's not a good day to do the Greenway. And we lost them again. And, everybody and we're back. And there are people hanging on the side of the road because it's this bad. Yeah, a bunch of wussies don't know how to drive in the rain. 
Although, I'm not getting out of the car until this stops. Ooh. Oh. Although, I think my favorite DC area storm, aside from the derecho, would probably be that other freak uh, storm when you were operating the train and I was riding the uh, oh, J13. With all, with all the hit, no, the J9. J9, whatever. No, J13 is Landover. J9 yeah, is Yeah, you know what I meant. Yeah, but that's not what you said. Anyway. But yeah, yeah, no, that my that bus fun. pulled over yeah. on 270. Oh, yeah, that was a Everyone was stopped on 270. Was it was fun. hailing. We had hail. I was operating the train, you know. I was going about 10 miles an hour. And when it was over, I'm like, aww. It's over. But no, if you look up Powerful Storm on I-270 on my channel, you should find the video of it. Yeah, it was on the weather channel too, wasn't it? Yeah, just know that there is cursing for some of you that are Some of you that are a little bit sensitive. more prudish. You know what? Yes, there is cursing. Don't be like my mother. Anyway. Ooh. Now there's standing water. This is not standing water. It's just thicker rain. No. Thicker rain. Uh, right. It's heavier rain. It's taking longer to run off. It's not standing. It is moving. Anyway. Uh, Jerkster Dude says, Ben, when a really bad weather happens, does Metro stop trains from running for a few? Uh, defined really bad. Because I'll say this, you know, in most cases, you know, unless, unless it's like the wind is like really bad, like hurricane, or, um, or it's like, you know, like a blizzard where they want everybody off the roads and things, then they're still going to um, gonna run service. Because we run on we run on rails. We can run through just about anything. You know, we're on a fixed guideway. The only the only challenge is stopping. That's the challenge. And you know what? You just you just take it slow and the schedule goes right out the window. Oh, and not only that, the reason why I think I cursed in the video was because the rain was entering said bus and I was getting wet. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good reason. Say a few four letter words, it always helps. Oh, that's weird. N95 uh, 08 signal is red. You're such a nerd. Oh well, yeah. But yeah, no, that is weird to see that red. Yeah, it's weird to see that signal being red. Because that's normally the signal defaults to, you know, it's on fleet to lunar. Anyway. This is gross. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The C E kind of gross. C R O C E gross. I meant Ooh. That was a good one. Booths not attended. Exact change or easy pass go toll. Yes, go toll, go. <laughs> and here we are. Wheelie Avenue, or as we like to say, Wyale. Wyale. Why Wyale? Why Wyale? It's because, you know. Just bad, because. Sad pronunciations, just because. Yes, indeed. Anyway, here we are, Wheelie Avenue, final station on the Silver Line. Please take all personal items when you exit the train. Thank you for riding Metro. Have a great day. Doors opening on the left. This train is now out of service. Get the hell off my train. Mm. That's what you say there. Uh, just get off. Off my train. That's right. You 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 know you 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 know. There are certain things we would love to say, but you know, for uh, reasons of professionalism, we are not supposed Ooh. to say it. Okay. He's dragging water. Yeah. Okay. Slow down. Okay. He's doing that. I'm just getting an idea for it. Child. Yes. Although I remember one year in Ocean City during this kind of rain, there was the like when your father carried you out on his shoulders in the no, middle of the hurricane. No, no. 
That was, I think. I think it was Isabel. But anyway, um. Oh, that was that was you were in Disney World then, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, because it, it was 2000 or prior. I'm assuming because the camera that it, it was photoed with. But um. What was I about to say? I don't know. Anyway. Ooh. New elevator townhomes. Oh. Ooh. Elevators. Yeah. Oh, this building here, you, you can't really see it because of it. It has U.S. square button. Yeah, come on. Move. Thank you. But it has a college in it, and I think that building's probably closed right now. Yeah. As there's, there's literally nobody, no cars there's nobody there. Nobody in the parking lot tells me that you're not getting in there today. And there's the McDonald's. And, oh, the Pizza Hut isn't a Pizza Hut anymore. No wonder it wasn't. Uh... Did they demolish it? No, it's still there. It's just, oh, no, they're doing something over there. No, they're not. They're just parking there. Mm. Anyway. And we know what time it is. It's and it's not Bell McDonald's time. time. No. We go into Taco Bell. Because Taco Bell is where it's at. And Taco Bell is Taco Bell. I am not an Andrew. No. Alright, exit only. Ask me if I care. Vintage building, slightly newer logo. Oh, they've updated this one, you can tell. Oh, yeah, Pizza Hut is no more. Oh, yeah, they got paper over the windows and everything. All right, anyway. So you want that uh, $5, $5 dollar box. burrito box. As always. Yes, indeed. You are, this is not the drive -thru. I am pretty predictable when it comes to my Taco Belling. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Anyway. Oh, yeah, the back door is open, Oh, they're too. renovating it, it looks like. Oh, there's bathroom fixtures. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Anyway, we are not going over there. Aw, no toilets. No toilets. What drink do you want, by the way? Uh, Mountain Dew. All right. Baja Blast, Baja I think. Baja Blast, okay. Because that way we don't have to have this awkward conversation when we get there. All right, let's scroll up here and let's order something. Let's get back. Oh yeah. Hi, we're gonna get the uh, burrito five, box with the not, five dollar box. The five dollar burrito box with the Baja Blast. Okay. All right, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. you notice I'm not waiting to be dismissed because I'm getting wet over here. Hm? Yeah. All right. You notice it's like I'll see you at the window because I was getting wet <laughs> at the thing. It's like yeah. All right. Oh, they give you they give you a little fork to put that thing on. All right, that's that way. Oh yeah, and it's no look at this. Look at this. He's got a thing. That's weird. He's got a thing. See, it doesn't have to hold the thing. Or is that? All right. I don't need one. Cause trust me, I've already been emailed the receipt, and it's gonna ping me on with a notification. You just spent five dollars. All right. Um, oh, you use the PayPal card? Yes, I did. I like the um. The PayPal card he has because it's shiny. Yes. Too bad I can't show it. You like shiny objects. Yeah, maybe. Yes, well, you know, there's no shame in being distracted by shiny objects. Well, there are quite a few shiny you objects. Notice he's got that little bucket ready to hand it out all contact. Like, it's like, I hate that. You know, that's it, like, it makes it harder, really. It makes it more cumbersome. Just hand me, hand me my grub, you know. And goes my straw for my Mountain Dew. Especially there's this guy right here. What's he doing? He's playing with his phone, you know, and all this. Because the phone is the dirtiest thing you probably touch in a day. Aside from maybe your keyboard or uh, your doorknob. All, all, of the, all of that, you know, is pretty dirty. Oh, there he is with the little bucket. Wow, all that right. was a loud. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, say what? You too. You too. All right. All right. Oh, Yum. open the window. And do that right quick. All right. We're, eh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just no, I gotta get out. I gotta whatever you gotta do. I gotta get out of this. Well, bathroom. I dumped my stuff. That's why. Oh, okay. Anyway, setting you guys down in a second. Yeah. Okay. I need to buckle me, up. Let me, let me go park somewhere, and then you can, you know. No, I don't need you to park anymore. I'm good. Oh, okay. And this is the McDonald's, the Wheelie McDonald's. Avenue McDonald's. Yes, indeed. This building across the street also has a U.S. elevator, which yeah. I want to hit up. You want to go there? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm glad you said so. All right. I mean, I told you before we left the house, I wanted to hit up yeah, that no, building. That one, that building back there, you're not doing because they don't look open. But anyway. 
Anyway, all right. Ooh, look at all that rushing water. Oh yeah. We look at all that rushing water. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Say, so get it, get it, get it, some vodka. All right. <laughs> said Russian water, right? All right, so I'm going this one. Yeah. Susie's Deli. Yeah. All right. The atrium, I think, also has something, but it's kind of a weird indoor-outdoor setup that okay, I'm not no dealing one. with. Anyway, uh, where's the entrance? It's on this left side. Uh, so around. Yeah. All right. Ooh, flash. flashy. Flashy, flashy. Yes, indeed. So and it, oh gosh, I feel sorry for that person. They left their trunk open. Uh -huh. Alright, anyway. Remember, no smoking when oh. There's a squirrel just crawled out There's of that trash can. Just crawled out of the trash. Alright. Does somebody want to do that dude a favor and shut his trunk? Nope. He may have it open for a reason. True. You, me, and the GoPro. Alright, have fun in there. It's like you, you made in your GoPro. Ew. What? Let's get in here quickly. I can't read comments because I'm rushing around. Trying not to get too, too wet. In we go. That is my GoPro dead? Or am I just dumb? Huh. I don't know. Welp. Huh. I don't remember this being this. But there's the US buttons. Sorry for my squeaky shoes. Breaking in new shoes. at five. Wet paint. G or one? Where do we want? One. There's your phone. An okay cab. the lowest. Let's watch this light go out. There it goes. Anyway, back up to one. And well, we'll get back to the car. And there goes that squirrel again. Oh, that thing has a table and bench behind it. Probably for the smokers. It's definitely wet out today. Hello, Benji thing. Hello. My GoPro was dead. Oh, okay. So did you still get a video? Live streamed. Oh, okay. Well, say hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. He loves you. Yes, I had water while we were while you were <laughs> in there. Cleaning you guys off because you guys are wet. 
Yeah, and just throw it on the floor. All right. Where else am I going to put them? There's a trash can up there. The squirrel that way. So throw it away out there. I'm not going back out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always an excuse. Always an excuse. Anyway, let's do this. Where this guy's trunk is getting soaked. It could be a rental car, so he might not even care. <laughs> Although. Well, let's go examine. Yes, indeed. Yeah, he's like, no, actually, yeah, I got to go. I can go out. Whatever. I can go out. <laughs> Let's see. Poor guy. Let's see. Oh, golf bag. Oh. Nothing like ruining your golf stuff. Oh, the golf club, you won't ruin that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, the stuff. bag. See, how much do you think one of those is worth? Oh, stop it. You like? Oh, stop it, you. And there's probably too many witnesses. The thing is, you leave your trunk open. Then, then, the thing is, then the idiot will think, will act like, oh, you know what? Somebody broke into my car. I'm like, no, somebody didn't. Nobody broke in your car. You, you left your left your lights. You're not lights. Left your. Uh, yeah, don't leave your car open, uh, guys. Left your trunk open like a schmuck, and somebody took it because you're stupid. Don't leave trunks or doors open. That's right. Don't be a schmuck. It's like um, a really dopey neighbor of mine in my parents' neighborhood. Um, oh she God. regularly leaves her front door open. Just wide open. Her car door. Yeah. Oh. And back over YA Lay. Yeah, well, yeah, we're back on Wheelie. And that's the only one you needed to see, right? Uh, the uh, FM Global. Where's that? On Reston Parkway? Yeah. Okay. And if I take Sunset Hills, that'll get me up there, won't it? I don't know. I think it will. And if but not, there's the other U.S. Oh, yeah. Right. And the buildings that we did not do, um, the atrium, I think, has Impulse. And there's a group of buildings on Newton Circle or whatever it's called with a whole bunch of Monty. Hello, Jared. Oh, right. You just missed a U.S. elevator. Don't worry, it'll be archived. You'll see it later. Metro Center Drive, all the way out here. Makes me think of downtown. Yeah, I know. Metro Center. Red line, red line, red line. That red line does not go anywhere near here. And there's a random Mart's bus hanging out. There it is. Yes, it is. But yeah, no, the um, FM Global Building. Oh, yeah, and that's on Reston Parkway. Yeah. Speaking of which, we'll go by uh, Plaza America, won't we? Plaza America? That's yeah. What I said, Plaza America. Why do you want to talk about Plaza America? I'm just saying, we're going to go by there. I really want to know what that building has, but I what, think it's... That NCI? Uh, that building to the left. Oh. It looks like a one-story building. No. Not behind it. Um. Yeah, you know what? We ought to go quick see where Matthew's uh, new CVS is. Oh yeah, Matthew, we're, uh, we're heading to uh, a friend's Ultimate. house. Yeah, we're heading to his house. Ultimately. Yeah. He, he's in need of a haircut. He needs a haircut. And I get, I, I can cut hair, but I only give I only give one kind of cut. Is that the new CVS? That is the new CVS, yes. Oh, that's big. Yeah, uh, Matthew, the friend we're going to see works at the CVS. At the CVS. It used to be around the corner a bit. And you know what? They're doing looks like a build out around here in the former champ space. That was supposed to be a Hooters, but you know what? But th that never material. That was just a rumor. Oh, I wouldn't mind a Hooters in Reston. Eh, Hooters is not all that. Hooters is not all that, but you know, they have decent wings. You just yeah. like wings. Yeah, wings. No, actually, I like boneless wings, but anyway. Oh no, retail space at this elevator. It's like they got a board up there. Isn't there an elevator in this yes, thing? Yes, that's just an entrance to a second story tenant. Yeah, where's the elevator? Inside. You can't get to it right now. Darn. Yeah, I know. Anyway, all right, here's what we're doing. We are, I'm just, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loop around and come back, go through the shopping center. Bird on, yeah, Jared says try bird on the run in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. For wings. Oh, okay. Don't know when I'm going to Pittsburgh again necessarily, but. Oh, look at it. Please wear a face mask before entering. Right. And there's some dude running with a face mask. Yeah, I know. All right. I wouldn't be running in this weather to begin I with. Would, yeah, I wouldn't run and you could slip and fall. Yeah, I would be more concerned about falling. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure it's how not wearing a face mask. But anyway. Right. Yeah, no, that, that, that sounds good. 
Anyway, we're back to the shopping center, and then we got to continue. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, it looks like they're doing a build out of some sort up there. Oh yeah, there's yeah, you can't really see it. Yeah, they're building. They're gonna build out, building something out up there. And there's brown bag. Uh, and Zoe's, Zoe's kitchen. kitchen. Zoe, not so. And then whatever Tropical that was, is not there cafe. anymore. They're gone. Please keep. They put signs up. Please keep six feet. Of, oh, I hate that sign. Uh, we hate all the, these signage. And there's the CVS again. That's Ooh. a big store. Yes, it is. I can tell Matthew we, we drove past it and we saw it. Yeah, that's big. And uh, Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym. That must be an upstairs location or something. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's an escalator. Above the CVS. Five guys. Vacant. I think that's the old CVS. That I think you're CVS. right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, there's, there's a signage. There's a signage. Yeah, that's the old CVS. Oh, and there's an elevator back there, apparently. Oh, fine. And there's Whole Foods. Whole paycheck, yep, but yes. Yep. We've been to that in Whole Foods before, haven't we? I don't, I don't know. There. Optometrist, Sports Vision. You guys. Oh, Bon Chon. Now that, that is exciting. That's Korean barbecue wings. Yes. Yes. And then what else we got? We got food, Mod Pizza, super fast. Hey, Mod Pizza's okay. Very good. Oh, the last time we went there, we went in, argued, and then left. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, there's Michaels. I kind of didn't know there was a Michaels here. I think I did. And there's Total Wine. It used to be a Staples. That Staples was pretty short-lived. Oh, I genuinely do not like Total Wine anymore. Yeah, because the uh, Trone. Because the jerk that's up, that uh, runs it is also our congressman who's in it only for himself. He doesn't even live in our district. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. And he wants to be the congressman. Because he ran, he ran in his own district, and didn't uh, do well. And like two years prior, and lost by quite a bit. Oh yeah, no, I threw out some David Trone mail that we got uh, God. earlier. We voted for his opponent, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. All right. And you know what? But no, the fact that you don't even live in our district and you want to run for it, and then you're also having this huge total one and more business that can't even legally operate in Moco. That has nothing to do with his business. It's Montgomery County's weird regulations. It's more that he doesn't even live in the district. He wants to be the congressman for that district because he lost in his actual district. So he just hopped districts and decided, and decided, well, you know, if I can't win here, I'll try here. And he actually got in. Yeah, and there's also some other sketchy stuff he's done with money. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Kyle all and I, I looked all, it up. All I know is, as far as I'm concerned, you know, the... the car and he also does not like transit. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the carpetbagger thing, you know, is, you know, is, is it for me. You know, if it's like if he were, you know, actually running it, if he actually moved to the district, I would still make him a carpetbagger, though, if he moved, if he moved specifically to run. That's like that guy, Dan Bongino, who, who ran for that. Bongino, district. that's a silly name. I mean, well, you know, he ran in MoCo a few times, then he moved to Florida and immediately ran for office. It's like carpetbagger. Yes, indeed. He is a carpet bagger. Anyway. Onward. Onward and outward. To Matthew's house we go. American I, Dream Way. Oh, I know. I, right? I don't like that name. I don't like that name either because it's like you have to name it American Dream Way. That's where your dream is going to die. Or your American Dream has already died and you're doing that to remind, to remind yourself to give yourself some sort of hope. With phase two, how many stations are there going to be? I think six. Total, Bozo. I said six. The whole system, Bozo. Oh, I don't know. With phase two added, it's how many whatever stations? Whatever it is plus six. Is it like 91 stations right now? Yeah, I think so. So it'll be like 97 stations. Anyway. All right, let's. And where's that hotel? What hotel? The one, oh, there's the Hyatt. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that's the one with the, um, with the, uh, Houghton. Mm -hmm. You can't really see it, because... Because there's another building in the way. Funny how that works. Yeah, I know, right? Alright. Oh, there's the 983. That All goes right. to the Udvar Hazy Center. Oh, cool. That one goes... Was from Wheelie to um, to the airport to the to the museum. See, 
the thing is, Metro has its own um, airport shuttle, and there's the Bechtel building. Oh, you can't yeah. see it, sadly. That's my favorite building in the area, mm -hmm. even though I've never been inside. <laughs> it's always been a favorite, though. I mean, there are some weirdos that put ketchup on eggs, so I mean, you know. Yeah, and you're that weirdo. Yes, I am that weirdo. Thank you very much. And that's why I am free to um, my move to a place where a man could ketchup his eggs without being hassled by the man. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The, um, by the way, anybody get that reference? I don't. It's a Homestar Runner reference. That's the one where Strong Batty was first found. This will blow you some nice fish corn bushes. You remember that now? No, I have not seen Neo Wise. And uh, from the looks of it today, will not be that day. Um, also, this building to our right, or left rather. That's the left. Yeah, this I've... This is right, this is left. Yes. <laughs> I've been wanting to go to that building for so long now. Oh, okay. But I think it's turnstiled. Oh. You guys remember going by it on the bus just to... Well, it's the Virginia Spine Institute. It might not. And, uh, well, those people we know have spines. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, and the person we're seeing doesn't have one, but... Be nice. We love him to death, but he really needs some help. He needs, you know... We, you know, we, we try. We love him to death, <laughs> and, you know... Some of the stuff makes us scream. Yes. Internally, of course. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Metro has its own shuttle to Dulles Airport. The, um... Oh, the 5A. Yeah, the 5A. And then, uh, that goes from downtown by Lanfont Plaza. Stops in, uh... Roslyn. goes. Shush, dear. What? There's the, um... I think the FM whatever, global whatever thing is up over here. It's too rainy. Oh, okay. Well, the point is, it's going to be, the building I speak of is on the right. The building isn't going anywhere. It's not this, is it? I think it is. Either way, it's... Oh, yeah, it is. It is. You want to go or no? And I'm saying no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying no. It looks like nobody's but there. Nobody's there. Yeah. That would be a little weird. That would be a little weird. Anyway, so... Metro has the 5A, and then uh, Fairfax Connector has their 983 from Wheelie, and it's also the same, and it goes to the airport as well. It's the same price as normal bus fare, unlike the 5A, which is like an $8 bus. I thought it was 7 Oh, no, it fare increased for oh, it. Oh, it's now it's an $8 bus? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's also a non-stop bus, you know. Yeah, but so is the 983. Mm. It goes around Plaza America makes one stop behind and then go gets on the toll road but it doesn't go from Lenford to Zia, does it no no see it doesn't connect Arlington and you know and there's Matthew's house right there. no that, that one, building no it's the, this with the green one back there there's the green building by the way uh we're gonna have to pop off here before um too long yeah, because we're almost to where we're going. And plus, I need to eat. Yeah, you need to go eat your Taco Bell. Before... I know, I really like the Dorito shells, and I like crunchy taco shells, but as soon as it gets soggy, mm-mm, gross. I don't like soggy tacos, or soft tacos, for that matter. Like soft tacos. What's wrong with That's gross, because I expect crunch. You expect crunch. That's what the lettuce is for. Ew. Iceberg lettuce is like bottom of the barrel yes, crap. Yes, iceberg lettuce is bottom of the barrel lettuce. And that's why my parents for many years used iceberg lettuce, but it's, that is cheap. And you know what, I eventually, I eventually taught men to talk them out of it and say, and they switched to romaine, which is better lettuce. Yes, I mean, it's not like I've never had soft tacos. I just, I, I would prefer crunch in my taco. I would prefer crunch in my taco. That's why you get a few bugs, you put them in there. Ew. Protein, yo. Mm. Elevated Rock One Mother says, uh, a soft taco is a leaky burrito. Yeah, basically. Maybe. No, yeah, it definitely is. Anyway, let's see about... I, I can see that. Let's see about finding some parking, shall we? Yeah, because finding parking here is... Parking here can be a little questionable, especially since we're coming, you know, kind of late. But at least we can park anywhere now. 
and not have to really worry too much about yeah, reserved. Pretty much. Well, they don't have reserved anymore. When did they get rid of reserved? It's been a while. Anyway, handicapped over there. Okay, we might uh, we might use that. And what else we got? That is not a parking space. And, and let's see. Hello to Matthew's vehicle. Where is this car? I don't know. All I know is. He has the 626. Yeah, he has a Mazda. Ew, what's all that trash in the road? I'm Ew. Alright, oh, there's a parking space. Alright, let me get around these children. And not run them over. And not run them over. Because as fun as their little bodies would be to run <clears> over, I'm not remote. And there's our space right there. And next to Matthew. Oh, yeah. Let's park next to Matthew. Let's park right next to him. All right. What your model's that one again? Oh, one. And put an 18 Herb right next to it. All right. I think this box is the grilled cheese burrito box. I'm uh -huh. pretty sure. Yeah, it's it. It's the grilled cheese. They don't have the Chalupa box anymore. I preferred the Chalupa box. Well, I don't make these decisions. I mean, I, I, I like both. Don't get me wrong. But. And now they're all leaving with the with their water jug. Huh? That's yeah, they confusing. Walked out, they walked out with the water jug, now they're walking back with the water jug. It's like, okay. And that's Matthew's car. Yeah, Matthew's car is this one right here. Yes, indeed. Anyway, though, we gotta hop off here so we can give him we a haircut. Hop off so we can give him a haircut, you know, and get him hooked up with his tablet and all that jazz. Anyway, would you like to say something? Something. Well. What? Goodbye. Goodbye.